it's the COVID pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh my God, Richard C. Clement is the advisor. That is so scary. Even more scary, it's filmed in New Jersey. Hey, the Muppets Haunted Mansion looks good. There's one magical haunted evening each year when all the scary creatures come out to prowl through every neighborhood. Election night. Santa Con. But here's the scariest Lauren monster Dobert? of all. Sarah Huckabee you Sanders? This little witch doesn't know it, but she's taking some frightening chances of being hurt. Especially if she Maybe posts on social media. Hurt. Her costume is very, very dangerous. Aesthetically. Can you see the things that make it dangerous? Her clothes are treated with PFAS? What about that mask? Oh, it's she a mask, good. hardly see through those tiny holes for her eyes. If you were wearing that mask, here's what it would be like. So you like, see I see all the time. You, but unless you happen to turn your head, you wouldn't see that car coming as that you start to cross the head. street. You could be run over. And unless you look down, you can't see that you're coming to a curb. Ow, that hurts. The candy, no, somebody that save the candy. Well, that's what the broom is for, cleaning up. It would be even worse to sprawl out on the street in front of a car coming. She should have dressed as a car. Now let's imagine that we're in that car. Can you see her clearly? No, I'm on my phone. Why not? What is there about her costume that makes it hard to see her? She's goth. As the driver of a car or truck, you might not see her until it's too late. And that's really scary. Yeah, my insurance rates go up. Before we think about some ways that the little witch could see and be seen better, let's take another look at her costume. Geez, you're obsessed with her costume. Don't Down she goes stunt again. double. It seems as if she's collecting more bumps and bruises than candy tonight. Whatever. Let's see if we can help her, shall we? And by helping her, Fucking broom. maybe you can <laughs> learn some things that will help you stay safe at Halloween. Just go nude. First, <laughs> turn back the clock and, and let start it over this whole evening and over, over again. And over. One of the problems with this costume is that it's too long. Like the video. It's too easy to trip over a long, full skirt. That's why Supreme Court justices are always falling on their asses. So we can shorten the skirt. You should always shorten any skirt, pants, Kitty. slacks, or cape. This has been a brief episode of Cat Chat. Now, the broom. That's a clumsy thing to carry. And it's something that you're likely to trip over in the dark. How about a shop vac? It's usually easy to shorten No, the, the first Saw movie was pretty dull. Or round off the sharp points of pirate swords. How emasculating. And other parts that can trip you or scratch you. What about the friggin' saw? That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? Cardboard brooms and swords are usually safer than wooden ones. Are you crazy? You know what kind of but disease you can get from not cardboard? not carry anything like that in the first place. Now, what else might we change on this costume to make it safer? A safe word? It's what a teardown. Start color? over. Remember how hard it was to see the little witch because of her dark costume on a dark night? We should always wear light, bright colors on the street at night so drivers can see us. What about this color? Go as a, a KK wizard, kids. Now she has to go as Gandalf. Who's more likely to be safe on Halloween night? Unless you're the one being lynched. An albino a witch, way sure. To make any costume easier to see at night is to decorate it with reflective tape. A nice day a for a white patches. witch. Now she's got a Confederate flag on it. Jeez. Come with reflective material already attached to the cloth. Here's what it looks like to a car driver. It's easy to see, even on the darkest night. Of the soul. And while you're putting reflective tape on the costume, you should also add some of it to the bag or container you'll use to carry home your candy. Some special hey, it's Halloween a shopping bag from Jumbo's Clown Room. <laughs> <material when they're laughs> the cloud is the scariest and thing it's yet. It's a good idea to write your name, address, and phone number. Oh, on sure. The sack. Makes it Just easier for the perps to follow you home. Now, how about the mask? Any problem with it? Where do we start? Do you knows my how secrets. Hard it was to see out through those little Yeah, it was like two holes. minutes ago. To be safe at night, you have to be able to see clearly as well as be seen. We can improve the mask. You're by ruining an artist's work. <laughs> there. That's better. But there is an even safer way. Ah, is she wearing a mask? Try to get your mom to stop drinking. You that helps. Not wear a mask. Oh, you should have thought of this at Target. Save some money. Oh, 
You think you need a mask to disguise yourself? How about to protect well, others? just watch what you can do with a little help from your parents. Kurt Vonnegut. Of cloth or old clothes yeah, sure, if your parents home. are Tom Savini or Rick Baker. An eyebrow pencil. <laughs> That's what I look like without makeup. Shadow, rouge, lipstick, an old mop or wig. Smelling of an old janitor's sink. Some wax teeth. Bill Corbett. Maybe some clay and food coloring. Clay? He's canceled. Other He's going as Matt Berry. You'd be surprised what you can turn yourself into. A neurotic adult. Avery Shriver. <laughs> Lady Torgo. It's Ben Manuel. And a young Wayne Gacy. The lion thing. Whether you buy a costume or design your own, be sure that it's made of flame retardant Megan material. Fox and Machine Gun Kelly are in here somewhere. Hey, we're out of cookies. Party's over. Easily. Ah, an unmasked healthcare worker. Party looks much better than the one in the last film. Now our little witch has turned into a beautiful princess. Negating her, her original intention. Is much safer. But there are a few other things you should do before going out. Like take a nice dump. First, eat a big dinner. If you go trick-or-treating while you're hungry, you'll be tempted to sample some of your treats while you're out. And that's definitely not a good idea. Never eat on an empty stomach. Keep an eye on the clock. In many places, the police set the hours that you should trick-or-treat. And you'll go to kid prison. Trick-or-treat only within those times. Neighbors should be ready with treats for you. Operative word should. should be more careful to watch for you during those hours. The cops will throw your ass in jail if you don't pay attention. Make sure you carry a flashlight when you go. The light will not only help you see where you're going in the dark, but it will also make it easier for others, including drivers, to see you. Or you could just wait till daylight. Look, some kid's going a swamp thing. Remember, do not go gentle into that good night, kids. Always travel with a group. Find it and join not a alone. gang for protection. It's safer still to have a parent along to keep an eye on things. And of course, you should always walk. Riding a bicycle at night is always dangerous, but it's even more dangerous to try to ride in a costume at night. But my costume is that of a velocipedist. As you go from house to house, stay on the sidewalks so as much as rules. possible. Do all your vomiting in nearby trash bins. If you have to walk in an area where there are no sidewalks, walk as far off the roadway as possible. Or use the carpool the lane. That way you can see what's coming. And get oh, the sorry, you kids. Cross streets only at brightly lighted corners, not in the middle of the block, and never between two parked cars. When you start across the street, cross quickly, but don't run. And don't stop in the middle of the street for any reason. Oh man, just stay home and stay watch Sven Stay in your Gooley. own neighborhood when you're trick-or-treating. Your neighbors are probably hoping to see you in costume on Halloween. And it's safest to visit people you know. Geez, trick-or-treating is so complicated. If you don't know the people very well, don't go into their homes. Most people enjoy having trick-or-treaters come to their doors. But there are a few people who will do things to hurt kids. Like Stephen Miller. They might put sharp or hard objects in candy and apples. Or give kids or they their expensive edibles. Fruit or gum that could make you sick if you eat it. So bring along a food taster. Don't give people ideas. To be completely safe, save your treats until you get home. Then ask your parents to help you check them carefully to make sure that there's nothing in them or on them that could hurt you. Like canola the oil or peanuts or soy or wheat to or dairy. They come in their own wrappers from the factory. Now this farm to table fruit stuff is bullshit. Be you Who eat eats it? fruit? I know. So wrong. And all candy bars and fruit should be sliced. It's all poison. Certain. Get rid of there it. There is nothing hard or sharp inside that could hurt you. Make sure your razor blades are clean before you eat them. If you're not sure what's Such a waste of time and not, resources. Don't take any chances. Throw it away. Man, how many evil child poisoners live but in this let's neighborhood? Get back to the fun part of Halloween with You the took all the fun out of it. Is there a dog on the soundtrack? They live next to Ironside. <laughs> We're just going to throw this away later. Almost everyone enjoys a good joke or riddle. Oh, Which not another open mic night. What did you guys get for breakfast? What? 
That's test. <laughs> what's what's a wiener when you take out its inside? What? A Halloween. <laughs> hey, that kid's got his own Netflix special now. In a blood bank. Here, have some candy. I'm so high. Yeah, that was at least However, foul and funny. Practical jokes and pranks aren't so funny. If you should break something, it wouldn't be <laughs> hey, you funny to something. the owners <laughs> or to your parents, who might have to pay for it. So keep your jokes funny and hard. Well, that advice is coming way too late for me. Tonight has been a magical no, it night. Hasn't. We saw a scary monster changed into a beautiful, happy, and safe little princess. Oh, that was that neighbor guy. How about you? <laughs> Will you follow the lead of the little princess and have a safe and super Halloween? Just give me my candy, for God's sakes, I want candy. Happy Halloween, everyone. You've been warned. Halloween. Where's my sandwich? 